Hello, welcome. Um, this is Soma, and uh, I wanted to introduce, I guess, myself and the work, the project that I've been working on over the past while. This is uh, this is uh, this is my automated trading method, and um, if you're familiar with automated trading, perhaps Profit Trailer, um, or Gunbot, or Hasbot or crypto hopper or whatever crypto php bots there's so many um if you're familiar with any of that then you know maybe maybe this will make sense to you i am a uh, a profit trailer user from early january um i have one of those great legacy licenses that lets me run four copies of profit trailer it's pretty great um so you know i've been using it for a while and it, it, it's been great it, it's been really interesting i learned a lot from it uh but eventually i realized that i wanted to have more control over where my buys are made and this is what lets me do that this this script down here which you're seeing this is you know the last couple months of my life and i've poured a lot into it it's been like mashing my brain into code and you know I love it. I love this. Um, and I hope that shows. Uh, there's been a lot of a lot of hours put into this and making this work. So it's called Oscillating Kingfisher 2. And it makes pretty good buys. Uh, and it has a it has a way of um, averaging down, let's say. If you're familiar with Profit Trailer, then you know about uh, DCA, well, even if you're not, it's dollar cost averaging. And there's different methods of doing it, but um, uh, Profit Trailer would, let's say, here's the initial buy, and it's going to maybe 3% down. It's going to buy another 50% of the initial value, and then it's going to average your price down. So let's say your average price is here, and then Profit Trailer is later going to sell for, you know, 1 or 2 or 3%, whatever you whatever you choose. But the way I'm doing it is, all right, so the script signaled a buy here because it thought that it would buy and then there would be a bounce because that tends to happen a fair bit. But in this case, it didn't. So it came down some more. How much did it come down? Let's say it bought around there. Let's say it came down about here and it bought again uh, a negative four percent down so four percent down from that original buy value it bought again and it it averaged things down and pardon me it made more buys here too so at this point let's call the average value right here you know <laughs> 12 hours later 15 hours later that's you know there's some gains to be had so this works really great in a volatile volatile pair like this even this look it's just bleeding off day after day but this can take advantage of that it, it's still going to have these dips and then little runs up run ups um, look that's two percent where were these buys made here still that <laughs> you know so you find the right coin pair and then you let, let this thing just extract value from it because that's just what it does. Um, yeah, um, I just released this yesterday, and I'm hoping to uh, get some more people to test this with me, um, knowing full well that you know it's a test, and um, we don't exactly know what's going to happen. But I can show you what's been happening for me. Do do do. So here's the Bitcoin account. I'm running two. Uh, I have Bitcoin and Ethereum running. Uh, Bitcoin, let's see, today so far 1%. Um, yesterday 0.9. Here I can show you previous days. I have to clarify that these percentages are really screwy because I just added some more. Uh, I, I refilled my Binance account, added a bit extra. So these are the actual percentages, percentile gains per day. So um, I, I turned on the script partway through April 26th and I started trading some Bitcoin with it and it did uh, just about 1% in half a day or whenever and then 
clearly, you know, it's <laughs> it's done some good stuff. And then on the 29th, this screenshot was taken partway through the day. So um, just to make that clear. Um, so all these percentages are downshifted. This would actually be 1.3%, I think. And then today's date, or today's percentage is correct, 1.04. Well, pretty close. So that's Bitcoin. Um, we can look at Ethereum. The ETH bot, it hasn't done as well, but it's been really consistent too. Uh, you see, I turned it around, or turned it on around, I guess the 25th. It was a little bit earlier than Bitcoin. And it started doing some good stuff. It, it's certainly more than my previous settings. And these were all results of previous scripts that I had written and tested out. Not nearly as good. Um, and it's set up now to um, leave a reasonable balance. So I like to have, you know, a third, a quarter to a third of my, of my total available for additional buys so I can get out of bags when I need to. And um, yeah, so far it's balanced quite well. Today's been slow. I don't have many alerts set up. Um, I just published the new script, so I need to rebuild them all. Uh, and that's the other part of this. So let's go into that. So here's this pair, and um, I'm going to build an alert. Uh, and this alert, these are the alerts. You can see them here. These alerts are going to fire off to my exchange and make those buy orders. Um, I'm going to be exporting all of these and providing these values available on the channel. And you can tune your setup basically to match mine or to shift a little bit from it, deviate. I, that That's fine. This is that's going to be limited to a few people because I don't want too many people making the exact same buys, obviously. It's going to screw everything up. But, um, yeah, I mean, get in early, right? So, yeah, I mean, what else can I talk about? Um, if you have a low balance, this can still potentially work for you. Uh, you'd have to choose maybe uh, one pair, two pairs, and just, you know, concentrate your efforts on something like this one, you know, this this has done well. It's just ranging sideways and a little bit down, a little bit up. It's it's beautiful. It all it all evens out eventually. Um what else? Yeah, I think that's it for now. Uh, I'm really excited about this and I'd like to I'd like to get some more people on board. Um it's still early days of course, but Yes, yes. Um, if you'd like to see here, here, let's just let's just do this. Let's let's go into sales. If you'd like to start seeing this, you know, you know, it, I, I'm I'm pretty good with this. I, I like it. There's some there's some low sales right here, but it's just extracting value. <laughs> Love it. Oh look, this one even went into DCA. But you can actually see that this is the only one that went into a, a profit trail of DCA, and that's indicated by this one right here. Um, and then let's just take a look at ETH. And these sales are much smaller. I'm I've actually been running it on more more pairs with uh, lower buy-ins. But I'm changing that approach, and it's going to be more higher-performing pairs with higher buy-ins. So, yes, it's an evolving thing. Um, and, you know, I should just say that this is, this is my job. Uh, if, if I do this with you, um, that's going to be my job. And uh, I will manage things, or do my best to manage things. So I'm hoping you can come on board uh, if you're out there and this is something that looks interesting to you. Yeah. Get in touch with me. I'll have a Discord link in the uh, video description. Peace.